Hello, it's Matt, and in this video we're going to be looking at some new features in the Files app on the iPad. There's been an update to the OneDrive app, which means that you can now manage all your files from the Files app. And I'm just going to walk you through the types of things you can do and why you might use it. Okay, so to start out, you just fire up the Files app, and on the left-hand side you can see location, so this is where you can take files from. And on the right hand side you'll see the files so if you have the onedrive app for ipad installed already you may not see them listed as locations so if you click edit and then you'll see the onedrive options you have available to you and in this case i've got the one office 365 onedrive and my personal onedrive and i can just toggle them on like that hit done and now i'll see them as locations and i can press on collaboration coach which is my office 365 and now on the right hand side, I see my files, my shared files and my sites. I can go into files and I list all the files and folders here. You see I can sort them by name, date, size and tags. And I can also create new folders. And I can also open up my folders and I can drag things into folders. So I can move this file into there, like that. Now the files themselves I can delete by a left swipe. And if I touch and hold, I get a menu item up where I can do file type like activity. So copy, duplicate, rename and so on. I can move, so if I choose move here, that's actually gonna give me um, all the locations in my files app so I could move it to OneDrive here if I wanted to or I can choose my collaboration coach and move it to another folder from here. I can also obviously open up the files and have a look at them. I can share them from here just like any other file and I can also do things like search so I have a search bar there too. So another cool thing we can do here with the Office apps is move files out of the Files app and into Office apps like Word or PowerPoint. So as an example, I've got some images listed here that I'd like to move into a Word document to use. So if I fire up Word and I bring in the Files app, you can see the images listed there. Now if I go and split the screen, I can now click on and drag those images straight onto Word. And you can also select a number of different images and drag those on two together. Let's drop them on top of each other, there you go. So in this video we looked at some new features for the Files app for iPad. Thanks for watching. And if you like these videos, please share them with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe because I'll be posting new ones every week.